Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a cat eye in graphite. Now the first thing that I like to do is take a HB pencil and map in the shape of the eye. So I want to be making sure that the outside of that eye is accurate. The shape and size of the eye is going to change the expression and ultimately then what that animal looks like. So that does need to be accurate from the very beginning. Once I'm happy with that, I'm then going to start to put in the pupil. Now cat pupils are quite distinctive compared to dogs for instance, they have much more of a narrower pupil in most cases. Now of course that is going to vary depending on the light source, if the light isn't directly onto the face the pupils may seem larger, so it is something to pay very close attention to. Now once I was happy with that, the first thing here that you'll see is I haven't darkened up everything right away. I've put a little bit of a graphite powder layer down for the iris and then I'm going back in now with my darker pencils to reinforce my contrast. Now contrast is something that I speak about in every single video here on YouTube and also my real time tutorials on Patreon. I want to be making sure that I've got my highlights bright and my shadows dark. So you can see here that I'm just now really building up gradually using a range of my darker pencils. Now my biggest tip is don't jump into using something like a 9B, one of the darkest pencils in the set, just because we see an area that is particularly dark. I still like to build up three or four layers before I use those pencils. So as well as the dark and shadow portions of the eye, the highlights are just as important. So if I've got a particularly bright highlight in the eye, I will usually allow the white of the paper to show through and I will draw around those highlights, so therefore I know that that highlight is as bright as I can possibly get it. Even with the best erasers, once some of that graphite is down on that paper, it's very hard to get that back to the bright white of the original paper colour. So if any of the highlights on the eyes, nose, wherever it might be, are particularly bright, then it is always best to draw around those and we can darken those up later if we need to. Now it's at this stage where I've got a layer of graphite down on the entire eye where I'm going to go back now with a bit of putty eraser and then just lift up some of that graphite to hint at my mid-tone highlights. Now these highlights should not be as bright as the main reflection at the top of the eye. Usually these are a little bit darker but again like anything it's going to depend on that reference photo. Here as well I want to be using a range of blending techniques and also the erasers, they're just as important as the layers that we use with our pencils. So all of these layers that I'm adding in here each have a purpose to build up more of the three dimensional sphere shape of the eye. Now my videos here on YouTube where I'm drawing fur, I really do focus on the pencil technique, but although we are not drawing fur here, the pencil technique is also important. So as I now go back in with my graphite pencils to reinforce those darker values, especially at the top of the eye, the amount of pressure that I'm applying here is really important. Too much pressure and I'm going to end up with harsh, real obvious dark lines and I don't want that here. This should be real soft shading. So I want to be working with light pressure and the other thing as well, and this is a real important top tip I feel, is work with a blunt pencil. If you work with a really sharp pencil for this sort of shading where we're just trying to add a very subtle shadow at the top of the eye, that sharp pencil is going to hint at detail that we don't want there. All of this should look soft. The top eyelid is casting that shadow over the eye. So I do find that working with a slightly blunter pencil really does help to get that technique far easier and quicker. And it doesn't matter what animal I'm drawing, I will usually tackle every single eye in this same way. So work on the shape first, build up those very subtle layers initially with some graphite powder, and then reinforce the contrast, blending and lifting up some of your highlights. So I really do hope that this video has been useful. If it was, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like and a thumbs up because it makes a huge difference to my channel. Here's a photo of my finished drawing. And as I've said, this does focus the real time tutorial on how to draw black fur in graphite. This was requested by a few Patreon members. So I wanted to create a full length tutorial from start to finish where I can really focus on that. Now one of the things that this tutorial does focus on as well is how to create the whiskers when you've worked on such a dark base layer behind it. Because I don't like drawing around my whiskers, I like to add them in after once you've got all of that dark graphite down. So if you would like to see the real time tutorial, everything's included, there are no sections sped up or cut out, then I will link that in the description below. If you have any art related questions, feel free to pop them in the comments because I'm more than happy to help if I can. And I'm going to be uploading another video to YouTube in the next few days. But as always, thank you so much for watching.